Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's try a different method. Let's call it method two. And we're going to employ the same kind of technique that we use to find the current through a capacitor in the RC and RL circuits. So what we're going to do here is we're going to employ the same technique, but in this case also find the voltage. And we can say that the voltage across the capacitor is equal to the voltage when time is infinity plus the difference between the voltage at zero minus the voltage at infinity times e to the minus t over tau. By now that should be a familiar equation and we can actually employ that in the very same way on a circuit like this where we have an operational amplifier. So of course what we need to do first is calculate what the voltage is when time is equal to zero. So voltage across the capacitor at time equal to zero and that's simply given to be three volts. That's our initial voltage v sub naught which is three volts. Now the voltage across, across the capacitor at infinity, well we know that, that the voltage will go from three volts down to zero volts, so we know that's going to be equal to zero. Now we're ready to plug that in and find the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time, and once we've done that, we use the same equation then to find the voltage of the output of the circuit. So here we're writing that the voltage across capacitor as a function of time is equal to the voltage at infinity, which is zero volts, plus the difference between the voltage that we started out with, three volts minus zero volts, times e to the minus t over tau. Now tau is the time constant, which is gonna be the product of R1 times the capacitance, which is equal to, R1 is defined at 50 kilo ohms, like we did on the previous video, multiplied times the capacitance, which is 10 times 10 to the minus 10 farads, or 10 times 10 to the minus 6 farads, I should say, which is equal to a half second. So when we divide by half second, that's the same as multiplying times 2, so this can then be written as minus 2 times t, and simplified, the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to 3 volts times e to the minus 2t, which is the exact same equation as we got on the previous video, except a little bit faster. And now we do the same technique as before to find the output voltage. That's going to be equal to minus RF times C times the change in the voltage across capacitor with respect to time. So we can say that V sub O is equal to minus the feedback resistor times the capacitance times the dV dT, V being the voltage across the capacitor. And of course that's what we have defined right here. So this is going to be equal to minus 100 k ohms times 10 times 10 to the minus 6 farads times the dv across capacitor dt. I just ran out of room, so I'll just write that in for now. But this here, that's going to be equal to 1. So this becomes equal to minus 1 times the derivative of this, which is minus 2 times 3, which is minus 6 volts times e to the minus 2t, and minus times the minus is plus, so this is equal to 6 volts times e to the minus 2t, which is the voltage, up, the output voltage as a function of time of this particular circuit. And so here we have the voltage across the capacitor and the output voltage simply by taking the derivative of the voltage across the capacitor and multiplying times negative rf times c. And that's how it's done.